Welcome back to CCTV. Today we have the following in store for you. Highlights of the social event, an interview on how to organize and handle global regulatory challenges, breaking news on the location of Chemcon Asia 2019, but first layer on the visa with some sound bites from the sessions on authorization and restriction. Today we enjoyed a series of presentations on the current state of play and the future of chemicals management regulations in Europe, especially related to authorization and restriction and how you can prepare for authorization right now. The key processes were make sure that the authorization you request you perform have a breathing space and that your chemical safety assessment shows that you apply the hierarchy of control. With respect to the topic of endocrine disruption, this is a high priority topic for the European Union and globally. Uh, the Commission issued a strategy in 1999 and has just done an update with a communication which will involve a fitness check and I think companies and other stakeholders can look forward to participating uh, in that uh, consultation and working together with all stakeholders to ensure the safe and responsible use of chemical substances including those with endocrine disrupting properties. Time to check in on our local reporter. Tibor, where are you? I am in the hotel at the moment and uh, I am showing people around like I do the hotel tour every Tuesday and Thursday mornings. I am in the Royal Spa. Budapest is the spa capital of the world. Over 100 uh, thermal and spring water baths can be found in the city and around. The Romans were the first to utilize the merits of hot water springs. In the Turkish period around the 16th century, new baths were constructed that served both bathing and medical purposes. Also, this spa has Turkish influence. In 1886, when first opened, already had some machinery underneath which created waves in the pool and that was the sensation of the town. At the end of the Second World War, the German commanders took their last dip in the pool before it closed. Corinthia recreated from the ruins that we were left a splendid spa suited for royalties and other guests. Now the spa is primarily to relax. But in their earlier centuries, the spa was a meeting place, like a coffee house for businessmen to meet, mingle and converse. Similar to what the CAMCON delegates did during the social event. Please watch my report. After thrilling tours through the best side of the city, delegates crossed the bridge to the Buddha side, where they had a nice dinner in the Gellert bathhouse. In the 12th century, the Knights of St. John had already discovered these caves and their natural geothermal pools, with miraculous healing powers on the Gellert hill. Since then, the wells and pools were popular among Hungarian monks, Turkish soldiers and bashas, and nowadays Budapest citizens and foreign travelers like to enjoy these pools for relaxation and water fun. Besides a wonderful water ballet performance, the pool revealed, like a wishing well, the location of Chemcon Asia 2019. Sensational! We will connect later again in this bulletin to learn more about the location of Chemcon Asia 2019. Chemcon is an excellent location to share experiences with your peers on how you handle and organize global regulatory challenges. I talked about this with Giver Beast and Karsten Müller. 
Chemcon is the place for authorities and compliance-driven companies to share knowledge and experiences about chemical control regulations around the globe. An essential bootcamp for global product stewardship directors and their team members that allow them to connect regulations and resources in various regions. It's easy to get one's wires crossed in the global regulation jumble. Guy, how does Honeywell keep track of new and updated regulations? Um, we do have subscriptions with uh, regulatory providers uh, on a daily basis, weekly or monthly, so several providers. Um, next to that we uh, obviously get a lot of information from uh, industry associations uh, around the globe, so ACC, CEFIC, uh, uh, IECM. Um, and otherwise it's networking, so it's uh, a, a very important thing in product stewardship, not what you know, but who you know, so uh, connecting to colleagues is a very big thing. And then of course there are the global conferences as this one, is uh, a good heads up for what's coming. Uh, Karsten, what kind of IT tools and software are helping you to effectively and efficiently implement new regulations throughout your business? IT tools got more and more important. Um, we are using a very big commercial software for our business processes, so the platform is also a global one. Therefore, we uh, rely on this platform and we build all our tools around this platform. This makes us um, a bit uh, less flexible when it comes to the choice of the tools. However, uh, it makes us more efficient and effective when we have set up these tools. Please watch the complete interview on our YouTube channel. Someone very well seasoned in solving global regulatory challenges is Karen Armstrong. Unfortunately, due to personal circumstances, Karen cannot be with us in Budapest this week. But as I said earlier to her, after 25 Chemcons, also you are entitled to skip one. But I'm still very happy to be able to connect with her in Minneapolis. Karen, how are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking, Chir. Since Chemcon Asia 2017, we've asked Karen to nominate one topic per conference, which she feels deserves a spotlight in the APEC region. The Karen Armstrong APEC Priority Topic. Honoring Karen for her role as the founding mother of Chemcon. Karen, which topic did you choose this time? I suggest we put the spotlight on Malaysia. They're working to update the laws and regulations related to the use of chemicals in the workplace. The associated guidelines have the details that are very important to industry. We appreciate Dosh's willingness to provide an official and direct update on the new guidelines to ChemCon Budapest. Since this is ChemCon, where authorities and industry meet, let's connect with Kuala Lumpur with Ms. Haslina Yon of the Department of Occupational Safety and Health Malaysia. Haslina, welcome to CCTV. Hi, TJ. Hi, Karen. Haslina, can you tell us more about the updated guidelines and the impact for industry? Malaysia is in the process of drafting the new class regulation, class 10 for classification uh, labeling safety sheets uh, 213 uh, and also the ICOP, Industry Code of Practice, uh, classification and hazard communication, communication 214. And this amendment is uh, necessary uh, based on the input and feedback from the implementation of class regulation uh, 213 as well as due to the amendment of uh, our main act, Occupational Safety and Health Act 1994. And the draft class regulation is expected to be completed by the end of uh, 2019. In Budapest, actually, my colleague Noraita is uh, going to explain to you more detail about it. Haslina and Karen, thank you very much. I hope to see both of you again at Chemcon Asia 2019. So let's quickly connect with Tibor. Tibor, we are anxious. Please share with us the news on the location of Chemcon Asia 2019. As you wish. Yesterday, all eyes were on the pool, where in the water, another multicultural mural can be seen of Budapest. Let's take a look.
Seoul or Seoul as the Koreans say. Spectacular. That's the forecast for 2019. Now the forecast of today. This morning we will focus on the Asia Pacific with China, Japan, Australia and New Zealand, Malaysia, Thailand and Southeast Asia. In the afternoon, among others, a strategic approach to international chemicals management, followed by a global approach to new chemicals and polymer notification. Finally, food contact regulations. Indeed, a lot to digest. So thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.